colleagues for their all good afternoon. Madam Chair, after listening to my colleagues, I am certain that you are won over to all sides that an OACS economic union with Trinidad is essential for the survival of our economy. However, if you are still not fully convinced, then permit me to continue to explain it. According to the 2010 CIA World Factbook and other sources, Trinidad is the most industrialized country in the Caribbean. It supplies manufactured goods, notably food and beverages, as well as cement, steel products, beverages, and this goes on. It is also the leading Caribbean producer of crude oil, natural gases, and heat. Madam Chair, we need these products. If Trinidad joins the OCS Economic Union, then we will be able to, to buy them at cheaper prices without paying any custom duties or taxes. Therefore, isn't it obvious that we will benefit greatly? Yes. Moreover, as part of the OIC, Trinidad and Tobago can be certain that they will have a permanent and willing market for their business. As Prime Minister Daniel Gumbler said and in an interview with the Jamaican Union News on June 2010, and I quote, the Eastern Caribbean states are a tremendous economic trading partner with, with Trinidad, and I'm sure that the government of the past present and future will realize that there is a special relationship that exists. My team, my team is simply claiming that we should make this economic relationship official and strengthen the ties since we really do need Trinidad. Honorable Justice. Our opponents may argue that since we are Trinidad's market, then we will be at their mercy because they can penalize us with high prices. However, one of the provisions of the Economic Union, Union Treaty includes free circulation and free movement of capital, goods, and services. Therefore, the main provider of goods and services must ensure that its products are cheap and easily accessible. Besides, the whole point of the economic union is to integrate the island. If one island sets high prices, this doesn't lead to integration, but to the fund, then Trinidad will lose its market. Distinguished judges. This situ in this situation, no one wins. As small economies, we in the OCS are often unable to take care of our own citizens. Trinidad has stepped in and assisted by providing scholarships to OCS students in the first instance, and jobs upon completion of their studies in Trinidad. What more do we want? Honorable judges, where do we obtain most of our major medical care and supply at affordable prices? Where do we go to get that dialysis treatment? And so everyone here knows of someone who went to Trinidad for medical care. We need Trinidad. I say again, Madam Chair, Trinidad is vital for our survival. We are presently dependent on them. Let's be honest, Trinidad has to monopoly on most of the Caribbean resources and growth. Would another country come? Would another country help to us out of our economic depression? No, it's time we stop fighting against each other and unite if we are to survive in this global economic mayhem. Thank you. Thank you, Governor. Time taken. Four minutes.